Alcoholic neuropathy is one of the most common and least recognizable consequences of heavy alcohol use. If you have had a long history of alcohol abuse, you might experience pain, tingling, weakness or loss of balance as a result of alcoholic neuropathy. As a neurosurgeon, I see alcoholic brain damage patients very often, almost on a daily basis. How alcohol damages your health, how to pick up those early warning signs and what's the treatment? Let's discuss in this video. Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Arun Naik from DocLogs channel, helping you to have dialogues with your doctor. Dialogue with the doctor is called a doclog. In this channel, we have dialogues on brain and heart health, lifestyle diseases, cancer, spine health, preventive health and much more to put you on the positive side of your health. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to DocLogs. All additional links, tips and tricks told in this video. I will leave the details in the description box below. If you want, you can check those out. That said, let's have a doc log. Signs and symptoms of alcoholic neuropathy usually progresses gradually. A person who drinks or his family members might not recognize that the issues are related to alcohol or to neuropathy. Common symptom is a decreased sensation of the toes, feet, legs, fingers, hands or arms manifested by pain, tingling or other unusual feelings of the body parts. Some patients have weakness of the feet or hands and lack of coordination of the feet or hands. Imbalance and unsteadiness while walking is very characteristic feature of alcoholic brain damage. I also see bruises, cut sores or infection of the skin on the toes, feet or fingers due to decreased pain from their injuries. Other symptoms are dizziness, particularly when standing with eyes closed, constipation or diarrhea, urinary incontinence along with sexual dysfunction also is seen in some patients. Friends, how alcohol affects our brains and nerves? Alcohol neuropathy is a nerve disease caused by excessive alcohol consumption over a long period of time. Alcohol damages those sensory nerves leading to decreased sensation of the hands and feet. This is the reason for those typical pins and needle sensation found in the feet. Alcoholic neuropathy can result in hypersensitivity to touch. Even slightest touch of clothes can feel exaggerated and painful, particularly in the fingers and toes. Constant pain in the hands or feet is one of the most bothersome symptom. The pain can feel like burning, throbbing or sharp pins and needles. As the condition progresses, patients often don't sleep in the night because these complaints worsen during night time. When this person sustains any injury, especially on feet, this causes less pain sensation. Typical example is shoe bite which will be painless and these small injuries don't heal well due to the associated nutritional disturbances of alcoholism and result in wound infections. Another symptom is inability to properly balance and coordinate fine motor skills such as walking and finger movements. When we walk, we seldom watch our immediate ground and we rely mainly on the sensation in our feet to effortlessly walk along with the visual cues we get from the environment. With diminished sensation, activities that you normally do without looking such as walking becomes impaired. This can lead to dangerous falls. Severe alcoholic neuropathy causes motor weakness due to nerve damage. Our muscles need to receive a message from the nerve in order to function. When this message is interrupted due to the damaged nerves, the muscles cannot function resulting in weakness of the hands and feet. Autonomic nerves control our organs like urinary bladder, heart, stomach and intestines. Alcoholic neuropathy can weaken the autonomic nerves causing impairment of bowel and bladder function, sexual dysfunction and heart ailments. Friends, in general it takes years for alcoholic neuropathy to develop so a long-standing history of heavy alcohol abuse is very typical. Some persons develop neuropathy early in alcoholism and some persons even after drinking heavily for 40 years don't show any symptoms. 
alcoholic neuropathy is caused by nutritional deficiency related to long term heavy alcohol consumption as well as toxins that build up in the body alcohol decreases the absorption of nutrients such as protein and vitamin b12 causing nerve dysfunction in addition alcohol alters the function of the stomach liver and kidneys and prevents the body from properly detoxifying the waste material of alcohol metabolism so what happens this toxic material is deposited in the body causing the issue the nerve damage typically affects the axons which are the cell projections that send electrical signals from one nerve to another nerves do not have the ability to regenerate if they are severely damaged and the nerve damage of alcoholic neuropathy may be permanent if the damage has been chronic how to diagnose alcoholic neuropathy friends when i see a patient with symptoms of alcoholic neuropathy i do a total physical and a neurological examination to understand the symptoms i may ask for few blood tests or nerve tests such as electromyography emg and nerve conduction studies called ncv these tests examine the nerve function in detail and characteristic patterns in doubtful cases a nerve biopsy may be needed which can show a pattern of nerve damage consistent with alcoholic neuropathy i also may order for a brain and a spinal cord mri to complete the investigations and rule out few other diseases we neurosurgeons have to be very careful some conditions mimic alcoholic neuropathy like diabetic neuropathy peripheral vascular disease spine diseases like myelopathy some muscle diseases brain diseases like multiple sclerosis or ms spine diseases like gilan bar syndrome and rarely motor neuron disease or mnd how to treat alcoholic neuropathy first line of treatment involves pain medications to tackle that pain tingling numbness sensations sometimes antidepressant medications are used to treat alcohol neuropathy i also prescribe some vitamin supplements like vitamin b12 folic acid vitamin e and thiamine there are no medications that can help improve loss of sensation strengthen the muscle weakness i always tell my patients to discontinue alcohol which definitely helps in controlling the symptoms as of now there is no specific surgery or treatment to correct the alcoholic neuropathy damage some of the symptoms of alcoholic neuropathy can be partially reversed but if the neuropathy becomes chronic advanced it might not be reversible so please keep this fact in mind medication can help in reducing some of the symptoms of alcoholic neuropathy not all friends alcoholism is a social curse we all know that most people who have successfully managed alcoholism did not do it alone the medical community has recognized that addiction is a disease and some individuals are born with the tendency to become addicted to substances thus it is usually necessary to get some medical help for managing alcohol with that friends we have come to the end of this video thanks for watching this video and hope you found this video helpful if you liked it give me a thumbs up share this video with your near and dear ones to put them also on the positive side of their health if you are new here please consider subscribing to doc logs it will be my great honor and privilege to have you guys among this ever growing community of doc loggers hit that bell icon to get notifications of my new videos friends did you have a friend or a family member with alcoholic brain disease if so how did you pick up those early warning signs what treatment was given and what was the outlook drop your thoughts in the comment section below i'll be back with another interesting doc log very soon till then feel awesome live awesome and take good care of your health this a new day make a move doing things a new way